So this week I'm reading The Good Sister by Sally Hepworth and this is a brand new thriller release and I absolutely love Sally Hepworth's writing. This is going to be the third book I've read by her. I read The Mother-in-Law first, I thought that was absolutely wonderful, gave that one five stars and then I read The Family Next Door, again absolutely wonderful, gave that one five stars. So I'm expecting a lot for this book. And I have to say, it is absolutely delivering so far. So I started reading this book at lunchtime and then I read more of it after work and then I read more of it before I went to sleep, before bed. And I managed to read over 200 pages in one day, which is so, so, so much for me. I have not read that amount in a day for a very long time. And it was because I just could not put this book down. It is so, so, so readable. I really, really like the way that she writes. So I literally only have a little chunk left and I will have finished this book. And it's, it's absolutely wonderful so far. I can see this becoming one of my new favorite thrillers. So let me actually tell you what the book is about. So it's about a pair of twin sisters. We have Rose and we have Fern and they're 28 years old and our main character is Fern and she is a librarian. So the book is told through both of their perspectives but we actually see from Fern's perspective and the majority of the book is told through Fern and then we only see Rose's perspective through her journal entries. So Rose feels a lot more detached as a character and we feel like we're getting to know Fern very very well and I really like the character of Fern. We are to assume that she is on the autism spectrum and she definitely reminds me of Eleanor Oliphant as a character and there's definitely some similarities to be drawn with that obviously not on the genre of the book but just on the way that this character is written and the way you feel so much for her she is such a lovely character and everybody at the library that she interacts with and just the way that she views the world definitely reminiscent of Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine for me and that was one of my absolute favourite books of 2020. It was actually my favourite book of 2020, brilliant book if you haven't read it. So anyway I think the representation is really really good in here and I like the way that we only see Rose through Fern's perspective and then in her journal entries. Like I say, makes her feel a little bit more detached, makes her see the story pretty much through Fern's eyes and we're definitely on Fern's side, I would say. And then we meet Fern meeting a new man in her life and she calls him affectionately Wally, but he is actually called Rocco. And it's just very nice to see how their friendship, how their relationship just kind of blossoms and blooms. And I won't tell you anything else about the story or the plot because I don't want to ruin it as it's a thriller. And I think you should just go into it not knowing what to expect and don't read the back and don't read the inside cover because... I have read that since reading a massive chunk of it and there's a massive spoiler on the inside cover so I recommend you don't read it and I think it's best to go into thrillers knowing as little as possible. So I will say I don't think it reads as a traditional thriller and that's something I've noticed before with Sally Hepworth's writing and I really like that about it actually. So you go into this expecting a thriller and it's reading more like a contemporary novel with some thriller aspects thrown into it but she has this really great way of writing some lovely scenes but there's often this undercurrent of tension pulling you through it and it builds up through the book and I think that's such a clever thing to do and it just really hooks you in and that's why it is so so readable and I think it just goes to show what a great author she is that she has this undercurrent of tension quite a lot running through it and I have a lot of theories about what is going to happen about who certain things I can't even say because I don't want to ruin the plot for anyone but if you read this, I think you will also have a lot of theories and you'll sit there going, I think this is what's happening and I think this is what's going to happen. And I love that about a good thriller. You can really get your teeth into it and you're really interested in where the story is going to go. 
and yeah I'm expecting some kind of twists and turns I think I know what will happen and I'm very very happy if it does happen that way and just the way you hear about certain characters and certain lights is very very interesting and yeah I only have a little bit left to read and I'm very much looking forward to finishing this one I definitely think this is going to be a five star read for me so yeah watch this space I think it's going to be one of my new favourites so I finished The Good Sister today on my lunch break and wow, was this a good book? This is hands down my favourite thriller of 2021 so far and honestly I wouldn't be surprised if this was my favourite thriller of the whole year when I come to look back over all the books that I've read at the end of the year. It's going to take something pretty excellent to knock this off the top spot. So I just don't know what else to say, I just want to sing its praises. It was really, really well written. There were so many great twists and turns. Not going to comment on the plot at all. Don't want to say too much at all. But the character development was great. The way that we feel for Fern as a character. I really, really liked her as a character. I really liked Wally as a character. All of the women that she works with in the library some really great characters in this book which is also quite surprising for a thriller I think and I just think that Sally Hepworth's writing is absolutely wonderful. I think she is my absolute favourite thriller writer of recent years. I would have said previously that it was Gillian Flynn who was my favourite, favourite thriller writer and she's definitely up there but she hasn't written anything for quite a few years now so yeah, so for recent years, it has to be Sally Hepworth. She just knocks them out of the park for me. So this is the third book I've read by her, the third five star. I am definitely going to go back and look at her backlist of books and try and read some of her older books. I've read her three most recent novels. So yes, very much looking forward to going back and seeing what she wrote earlier. I think there's going to be some great ones in there too, if her newer books are anything to go by. I would definitely, definitely recommend this one to you if you're looking for a great thriller read. I think it'd be a great summer holiday kind of read. It's it's excellent, I can't say anything else. I don't think there's anything about this I would change at all, which is very rare for me to say about a book. So yeah, I thought this is absolutely wonderful and it's actually going to be really, really difficult for the next book I pick up to beat this because I read it on like such a high and it's such a great story. And yeah, I'm definitely going to be picking up whatever she writes next. Hopefully there might be something coming out next year if she's done one every few years. And yeah, I thought this is really wonderful. Definitely would recommend it.